first though, setting the scene. Sleep is just as important as exercise and nutrition when it comes to overall health. Yet it's not always given the same level of attention. And I want to bring that up level with it. And this is something that I have only just newly um, been doing myself and been reflecting on. Because when I was at my most stressed, I was um, sleeping absolute ratchet. And it wasn't until we've been delving into optimizing sleep a bit more that I realized actually how terribly I had slept before and the relationship that I had with sleep. And so uh, I don't think that you're just going to be able to turn around and just do this this week and then like solved. <laughs> this is about like lifetime of habits and, and your beliefs around um, sleep and why you may be sleep um, deprived versus um, or why you may need way too much sleep um, because you're not sleeping, uh, getting quality sleep. Um, so these two guys uh some people that I have looked to a lot in my research on sleep the book why we sleep some of you may have heard me ranting on about it <laughs> regularly it's an amazing book it's uh, probably the book that I have retained the most information from because it was written by a neuroscientist like you would hope that a neuroscientist would know how to write a book so that you remember what he said um if you can get your hands on it well, you can get your hands on it from everywhere. It's a great, great book. He talks in stories rather than just giving you facts and details. And so you remember the stories that he, he told. And that's this guy down the bottom here. The other guy, um, Professor Huberman, is the one that we did the non-sleep deep rest meditation from the other day. He has a wonderful voice to listen to if you want to listen to his podcast on perfecting your sleep. Um, he goes into way more depth on the information that I'll talk about today. Um, if you want to know more details, I recommend those guys. 